Here's the thing. AI tools really suck at front-end engineering. I've come to love them for you know, helping to figure out hard back-end problems, but when it comes to designing front-ends, they leave a lot to be desired. Here's a simple prompt that I used uh, with Claude Sonnet 4 to just make a modern, visually appealing calculator application with a dark theme and rounded buttons. I kind of tr tried to prompt it with a lot of these things that we'd expect you know, to mean something for design. And Well, let's see what we got here. Yeah, that leaves a lot to be desired, to put it mildly. I mean, it works, you know, it, it, it works functionally. I, I like it, um, but the buttons are not so great. They're hard to read, uh, I'm not a huge fan. So here's what I'm doing to fix this. V0 by Vercel. So V0 is Vercel's tool that's focused on front-end development, focused on design. It's kind of made with starter templates in mind. It's got Chad CN and Tailwind and things like that that are defining the modern web built in. It's got the ability to clone from a screenshot, etc. And here's the best part. Now they have an open AI compatible API endpoint so that you can use V0 right within Kilo code. And so we're gonna go through that in a second, but it's pretty simple. You just add a new provider, call it V0, put in your API key and you're there. And I did this already and let's see kind of what the results look like. Okay, so with the same prompt, we get a much better looking, much simpler to use, very sleek modern design calculator. And of course it goes beyond this, right? This is the kind of thing that can be really important when it comes to bringing a real app to life, even if you're using mostly AI coding. So let's see how we get started. So in Kilo Code Settings, I'm gonna to go to the provider, I'm gonna select Open API Compatible, and then I'm gonna select the base URL here. So let's go do that. And I'm gonna say Settings. I'm gonna add a new provider, call it V0 Demo, or whatever you want, and say Create Provider. Then I'm gonna change the API provider to an OpenAI compatible provider, give it a base URL, and then I'll just need my API key. Well, if we have a team account with Vercel, we just go to settings, API keys, and click new key. Go ahead and create that key, copy it, and then paste it right in here. Then under models, I can select the V0 1.0 model. Now click save and done. Now you can see I've already got selected the V0 demo provider that I just created, and let's give it this prompt and see how it does again. All right, looks like it's done. Let's take a look. And there we go. We've got a great looking app and it even works. Amazing. Jump scare, I changed clothes, but I just wanted to say thanks for watching this video. Make sure to like and subscribe and give KiloCode a try at kilocode.ai. Happy coding.